Hello, my name is Joseph Durady, and I'm a cardiovascular surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And my area of interest and expertise is congenital heart disease. And I have particular interest and expertise in Epstein's anomaly. And we are excited to announce a new clinical trial for patients with Epstein anomaly. The purpose of our research is to try to help the heart grow stronger using a patient's own stem cells that are administered to the heart at the time of their operation. Epstein anomaly is a rare heart defect that is present at birth. It's an anomaly of the right ventricle that results in poor formation of the tricuspid valve. This is a valve between the two right-sided heart chambers, and when it does not work properly and results in severe leakage, the right heart gets dilated over time. The tricuspid valve leaflets are abnormally formed, and the goal of operation is to repair the valve. Blood may leak back through the valve in the long term, making the heart work less efficiently. This results in progressive enlargement of the heart and eventual arrhythmias and heart failure. In order to find new treatment options for patients with Epstein anomaly, we are offering a clinical trial that uses the patient's own stem cells that are collected from their own bone marrow the day before. The goal of this clinical trial is to try to perform the standard operation that we always do and inject these cells into the weakened muscle at the time of surgery with the hope that it will strengthen the right side of the heart in the long term. Bone marrow is collected from the patient the day before with a formal research procedure, and it is processed in a way where the concentrated stem cells are removed and collected individually. These stem cells have the ability to develop into whatever the environment is that they are re-injected to. In this particular case, it would form heart muscle. The stem cells are injected directly into the muscle with the idea that the strength of the heart will improve over time by stimulating uh, growth of this damaged heart tissue. In the hospital, these concentrated stem cells are injected via a small needle directly into the heart muscle. There are other stem cell studies that we are also performing for other congenital heart defects. The heart muscle cells then will grow over time with the idea that the function of the heart will improve. The impact of these new cells will hopefully make the heart stronger for many, many years to come and avoid the long-term consequences of heart failure. To learn more about this clinical trial or other stem cell trials and how to participate, please email epstein at mayo.edu. Thank you for listening, and we hope that we can be helpful to you.